Hi everyone, my name is Robert Roos, I'm a rheumatologist at BJC Health and today I'm going to ask Rachel Puddleworth, a physiotherapist at our practice, to demonstrate the tragus to wall test, which is an important test to assess for motion in the upper thoracic and cervical spine. Thanks Rob. So I'm going to show you how to measure the tragus to wall test, which we use for measuring thoracic and cervical mobility of uh, an ankylosing spondylitis patient. So the first thing we need to do is get the patient to stand up against the wall, heels back against the wall, and feet around about the width of a 30 centimeter ruler. We look at this part of the neck and we ask the patient to try to get their back of their neck as flat towards the wall as they can, giving this sort of double chin look. And we measure from the tragus, so this part of the ear, we measure the distance from the wall to the tragus, which here is nine and a half centimetres. We check both sides and take an average of the two for the tragus to wall score. Thank you very much, Rachel. That was a lovely demonstration of the tragus to wall test. So was Errol normal? Yes, he was. Nine and a half centimetres is a normal value. Anything below ten centimetres is a normal value for tragus to wall. If it was abnormal, would that automatically mean that Errol had ankylosing spondylitis? No, it wouldn't. Tragus to wall is not a diagnostic test for ankylosing spondylitis. Well, thank you very much again, Rachel, for showing us the tragus to wall test.